All right, let's start by switching to our Hyper-V manager. We'll click on connect to server and we'll enter our Hyper-V server 2019 host titan.frozen Click OK and we get an error. It tells us the we need to check that the virtual machine management service is running and that we're authorized to connect to the service and also makes mention that the computer titan.frozennorth.ad could not be resolved. Well, that certainly gives us a laundry list of problems to resolve. All right, let's start through our lengthy list of steps we need to do to configure our Hyper-V manager to connect to our host. Let's see if we can enter into a remote PowerShell session with our Hyper-V host. No, it does not appear so. Well, not to worry. Let's work through the remaining steps and get ourselves connected. First thing we need to do is check our hosts file so we can get some name resolution to our Hyper-V host from our client. And there's our default hosts file that's included with the operating system when it's installed and everything is commented out. Well, we're going to add our host at 192.168.2.5 with an FQDN of titan.frozennorth.ad. We'll check and make sure that got added successfully. And there we are at the end of the file, it added our entry. So now we've got some name resolution going. That fixes one of our problems. Now the next thing we need to check is that our network connection profile is set to private versus public. So we'll do a quick get net connection profile and our ethernet adapter is set to public. Not a big deal. We'll just set that to private quickly and just double check. And there we go. We're set to private now. Now we'll just enable our PowerShell remoting. Now this will take a moment. And there we go. Our PowerShell remoting is enabled. Now our next step is to verify that we have our frozennorth.ad domain set up for delegation. Do a quick get wsman cred ssp. And it's not configured to allow delegating fresh credentials and it's not configured to receive credentials. Okay, not a big deal. We'll just quickly set the role to client and we'll set it for our entire domain using the star.frozennorth.ad. Just check the warning, click yes. And we'll do another quick check. And there we go. Now it's configured to allow delegating fresh credentials for frozennorth.ad. Now we also need to check our trusted hosts list to make sure we have frozennorth.ad in there. And currently our trusted hosts list is not configured. Again, not a big deal. We'll use the WS man provider and we'll add frozennorth.ad. Just do a quick check, make sure that got added correctly. And there we go, frozennorth.ad has been added to our trusted hosts list. Now the next thing we need to do is add credentials for each of our Hyper-V hosts. So let's just take a quick look at our current list. And as you can see, there's only one stored credential. Well, we're going to add the credential for titan.frozennorth.ad for the user administrator and include our password. And we'll do another quick check to make sure it was added. And there you can see our target titan.frozennorth.ad has been added to the list. Now let's just flip back over to our Hyper-V manager and see if we can connect to the server now. Click at titan.frozennorth.ad and success. Now we can connect to our Hyper-V host. Go back over to our PowerShell prompt and see if we can enter into a PowerShell session there now. And success twice in a row. Look at that. Do a quick get VM, and there's our same three virtual machines running on Titan. And that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching.